Okay, you can see by the shape of this hook what, the, what it's going to be. Um, the Klinkhammer fly has been in our arsenal for several years and uh, it's a really high producing pattern. Um, while we're not going to do the exact uh, pattern, the Klinkhammer, we're going to do a little bit of a variation of it. And the reason why we like this fly so much is it's a very simple fly to tie. Um, doesn't take a lot of time and it's very effective. So as you can see on this hook, it's flat here on the top and then it has a very aggressive bend down and the hook point goes up. And the idea here is you're going to tie a fly, you know, we're, this is going to be a parachute pattern and the parachute's going to be sitting right here on the flat part of this hook shank. And then the body is going to go down into the water and kind of hang there like a, a trapped bug. Anyway, uh, what I like to do when I tie these is I like to uh, turn the hook down a little bit so that I can get my thread back where it needs to be to, to cover up that the bend of the hook. So I've got it about down to there. And the ribbing for this fly is actually going to be just plain old sewing thread. This is Coates and Clark. It's a dark brown color. Um, any dark color will work. And I'll just tie that in. You can get this at any craft store or sewing store. And then I'll, I'll start wrapping the, the body up. Um, with the hook in this position as well and then I'll adjust it halfway through. So the body's going to be made out of <clears throat> Nature Spirit Snowshoe Rabbit Foot Dubbing. Um, and so the body that I'm going to be tying in is uh, gray olive and the, the thorax is going to be muskrat gray. Okay so I have a dubbing noodle here and you can see that this, this dubbing is pretty buggy. And so there are some guard hairs in there that will stick out, and that's that's kind of what we want in this fly. So I'm going to start wrapping it from back to front, making a little bit of a taper. And when I get about to there, I'm going to adjust the hook to a more natural angle. So that's about, about where we'll end up with the body. And now I'm just going to take this uh, sewing thread and wrap it through the body. You can see we're nice and buggy. All right. So you notice that I didn't tie the parachute post in first. I, I've noticed a lot of people do that. And you know, it's it's important when you're using like a calf body hair and natural material for your parachute. But with the, the synthetics <clears throat> as we're gonna use in this one, you'll see that uh, you don't necessarily need to do that. The product that we're using for the parachute post is a uh, hairline parapost wing. Um, and it's, it's treated with watershed. So it's a very water repellent material. And we're gonna use a, a chunk of white and we're gonna put a little bit of orange accent in there as well. And now I'm not gonna use the whole orange shank. I'm just gonna pull about half of that out. So I'm gonna roughly use about that much. So I've got the orange and white bunched up together and I'm going to tie that in right where my body ended. Now you notice that I didn't come up under the hook, the thorax like this. And the reason for that is it, it's, it's harder to cover up that thorax uh, once you're done with it. So tie it right on top, some snug wraps, pull those up and wrap some uh, thread wraps right in front of your post. And now I'm going to take my thread and wrap up my parachute post and this takes a little bit of practice uh, if your parachute post is you know bending over and your your thread is slipping off of it a lot it probably means that you don't have enough material in your parachute post 
At this point I'm going to tie in my hackle. And when I tie in my hackle, I'm going to leave a pretty generous amount of stem. Uh, and when I tie my, my hackle in, you can see that my thread's resting behind the parachute post. And when I, when I wrap my thread forward, I'm going to basically come in with my hackle at a 45 degree angle like this and catch that stem on the, the side of the hook closest to me with one wrap of hackle. And then with the next wrap, I'm going to start wrapping that up the parachute post. So I've wrapped it all the way to the top and then back down. The key here, however you need to do it, is that when you start wrapping your hackle, that it's going to start wrapping with the shiny side down. And that will allow you to make a very, very clean parachute pattern. Like this. Okay, we're not going to wrap that yet. First, we're going to cover up the thorax. So I'm going to use some of the muskrat gray. Okay, so we've got our thorax wrapped, all covered up. Again, that's a pretty buggy dubbing. Now the, the key here is that I'm going to leave my thread behind the parachute post and let it hang down because I'm going to use my thread to tie off the hackle. So I'm going to wrap my hackle now. And each wrap of hackle is going underneath the previous wrap. And what that does is it kind of pushes the fibers up and makes a very clean wrap, as you can see right there. So once I have all the hackle wrapped in, instead of uh, you know tying the, the hackle off on the hook shank, I'm just going to take my thread and wrap it underneath the wrapped hackle but on top of the unwrapped hackle just two times, maybe three times. And there it's, it's completely tied off on the parachute post. All right, so I've trimmed off my hackle and this is where most people are gonna make a mistake on their parachute patterns <clears throat> because they're gonna grab all these materials and you know bring it forward and, and do a whip finish. But instead of that, as you've probably seen on other videos of ours, we're just going to use super glue. Okay, so it takes the tiniest of drops, you can't even see it on this needle. And I'm just going to rub that on the back of the parachute post. And that super glue will seep in and uh, glue that thread together. And I've tied thousands of thousands of these for people over the years and I've never had you know somebody tell me that it came undone so once this is done uh, it's kind of up to you as to how you want to trim off your parachute post you could trim it off like as a mayfly wing you could trim it off straight long short I kind of go you know right about in the middle right about like that So anyway, that's a really simple pattern. It can be tied in a bunch of different sizes. Um, we've been fishing these for a long time. You can use a biot body, peacock thorax, however you want to tie them. But anyway, super simple pattern. Um, all these materials and a, and a whole lot more can be found on our website, um, store.flyfishfood.com.